Here's what to expect in Calm in Remake's next installment. How will the village be expanded both visually and story-wise? In Final Fantasy VII Remake, the city of Midgar was massively expanded and fully realized in a 3D space. The fandom's favorite translator, Audrey, translated an interview with the now director of Part 2, Naoki Homoguchi. Here's what the director had to say, quote, In the original game, you didn't really have the sense of what it would be like to gaze up at the plate from the viewpoint of the slums, but we were able to visualize that in Remake. In Part 2, we want to take that type of detail and allow users to experience how they experienced Midgar in the remake, but with the rest of the world." End quote. So, I think Calm will also get the same treatment as Midgar did, and that means the village will have to be much more than just a few shops, a bar, and an inn like the original head. But when thinking of how they could expand Calm, the best place to start is Dirge of Cerberus. But I'm not going to start there. In fact, I'm going to start with a real life city comparable to Calm to plant an image in your mind while I discuss the game world in the next part. The fortified towns of England, such as York and Chester. It seems to be the main inspiration for Calm. The medieval English architecture is complete with conical roofs and black trimmed walls, both York and Chester being England's most well-preserved walled cities. A walled city, just like Calm, is nestled within large stone walls. When comparing the maps, we can see that Chester is positioned just south of the River Mercy and Calm is just south of this river and UK's largest salt mine is located east of Chester in Winsford, just as the mithril mines are in relation to Calm in the world of Final Fantasy VII. I chose to compare Calm to Chester because Calm is meant to be smaller and a more quaint town, the opposite of a big city. England's more popular locations such as York, Liverpool, or Manchester share similar traits that I mentioned, but I simply get more of a calm vibe when looking at videos or photos of Chester. A quick read from Wikipedia, and I learned that Chester was founded as a fort by the Romans in AD 79. It would later serve as a defense against Welsh raiders and a launch point for raids on Ireland. It would grow as a trading port, and the, during the Georgian and Victorian periods, it was seen as a place of escape from the more industrial cities of Manchester and Liverpool. If we align that to my own conjecture of Calm's history, then that would mean Calm started out as a military fort, possibly served a purpose in the Shinra Wutai War, supplied mithril to Shinra, then gradually settled down to become a tourist spot for people just looking to get away from the industrial city of Midgar. Again, none of that is Final Fantasy VII lore, just some headcanon stuff. Let me know what you think. It's interesting to ponder if the developer in charge of designing Calm was inspired by this particular place, or if old medieval England towns in general were, that, uh, were what inspired Calm. In Dirge of Cerberus, the game has the player navigate Vincent Valentine through cobblestone streets and across rooftops of the much expanded village. The concept art further details what Calm could look like in the next part. The walls encompass much more than we got to see in Final Fantasy VII. The cathedral, which reminds me of the Chester Cathedral, which has a memorial for fallen soldiers during the First and Second War. Maybe the cathedral here in, in Calm will have a memorial for fallen soldiers uh, from the war with Wutai in the cemetery area behind the wall. This could open up potential story threads and give us a bit more of the town's history. The strip of buildings on the left is a bit hard to make out, but I'm thinking storage for mithril with a railway allowing for transport of the mithril from the mines and for shipments to Midgar and possibly Junin. We gotta keep in mind that even though the world map in the original didn't show roads or railroads, uh, that they will likely be there in Remake. I'm not sure what this area to the right would be either, but perhaps it's a processing plant with a residential area outside of the walls here. And this street here being where the opening celebration takes place at the beginning of Dirge of Cerberus. To come back to the idea that Calm was a military fort, it could explain the fortified stone walls complete with castellations that were built around the main part of town. Perhaps since, in my mind, the town is a vital mithril supplier to Shinra, Calm needed to be heavily defended. 
especially with the town being just west of Wutai. Strategically, Kalm would need to be Midgar's first line of defense against a westbound Wutaian invasion by sea. The continent is divided horizontally by mountains, the north side being the quickest route from Wutai to Midgar. It would be especially dangerous for Wutai to sail the seas around the south side of the continent as they would have to navigate through a cluster of small islands and landmasses that would funnel right past Fort Condor and directly into Junin, home of Shinra's military might. Junin's location would also spell disastrous for Wutai if they sailed east. With remakes seemingly diving in deeper to the Shinra Wutai Wars, perhaps the, this detail will be explored and Calm could be expanded to be more of a military fort as well as a home to the Mithril Miners. As far as the story beats of what happened in the original, Cloud tells his side of the story regarding the Nibelheim incident where Sephiroth burns down Cloud and Tifa's hometown. We saw glimpses of this during Remake, and it served as a way to introduce Sephiroth earlier and shed a bit of light on why Cloud is tormented by him, and also how Tifa was affected by the villain as well. In the original, the player was able to explore Nibelheim in the flashback, which would be really cool. That, of course, would mean that the very first town you explore after Midgar, it would technically be Nibelheim, and therefore this video series detailing the immediate town after Midgar would be Nibelheim, gosh darn it. Let's stick to calm in this video, and please be excited for the what to expect from the Nibelheim incident in Remake Part 2 video coming very soon. With that being said, the main story event of Calm, I wonder if Remake will consider the events explained in Before Crisis, a decade or so before when Calm was devastated by a military mishap that completely destroyed the village. This of course was given the Nibelheim treatment and covered up by Shinra, and Calm was rebuilt and repopulated and all as well. Also worth noting that if Remake wants to introduce Veld, the leader of the Turks in Before Crisis, this would be the place to do it, as Veld not only lost his arm during that incident, but felt personally responsible for destroying his hometown, which resulted in killing his wife and daughter. Perhaps some mention or easter egg of that historical moment will be given in Remake. At the point the party travels to Calm, it will live up to its namesake, and be a complete contrast to the bustling city of Midgar. Calm is mostly populated with mithril miners that are now out of work due to Shinra's Mako reactors attracting monsters nearby. Most of the folk are upset about this and direct that anger towards Shinra, and rightfully so, but some are perfectly comfortable enjoying the convenience that Shinra has provided with Mako energy. So I'd expect these conflicting views to carry over in Remake when interacting with the residents. I think Calm will serve as a hub for side quests, much like Sector 7 and Sector 5 slums were in the first part. This may or may not depend on the scope of Part 2 and how much of the world is to be covered, which is a topic for another video, but I'll briefly touch on my mindset here. I. I think Remake uh, will either have a fully open world, in which case I wouldn't be surprised if only the West Continent was available in Part 2, uh, but once completed, that would make for one of the largest open worlds in a video game ever. So it's doubtful, but possible. With the power of next gen, we're going to see open worlds larger than anything we've ever seen before. But rather, I think we'll see massive open areas similar to Final Fantasy XIV. But like I said, I have so many thoughts on how the open world will be handled, so look out for a future video on that. As this continues to act as a giant promo for future videos, please subscribe. I brought up the topic of the world outside of Midgar because I think that the citizens of Calm will likely task Cloud and company with eliminating monsters in the area, preventing them from working. This also feeds into another uh, theory that Soldier First Class brought up during our final podcast 5, that Yuffie will steal the party's materia at the beginning of part 2. If she does this while the party is sleeping, presumably after Cloud has told his story of the Nibelheim incident, then they all wake up to find that their materia and gill is gone. Well, then they would have to accept jobs around town to earn back 
gill and buy new materia and enough gill to buy chocobos from the chocobo farm. Uh, but that's all just conjecture though. But I'm fairly confident that Calm will serve as a side quest hub of some sort. The above thoughts are purely my own, but I reached out to our Patreon supporters if they would like to add to the topic and the award-winning Final Fantasy VII author M.J. Gallagher contributes by mentioning, quote, The cathedral in Calm shows the same religious symbols as Aerith's church, suggesting a cultural connection between Old Midgar and Calm, end quote. I wonder if this church will be more of a prominent building in Remake, and if Aerith will be drawn to it. The last little detail I'll leave you with is that Vincent's weapon, the Peacemaker, is found in one of the buildings of Calm in the original. If they keep this consistent in Remake, well, maybe we get Vincent in the next game, which means we will have at least made it to Nibelheim. Calm is a pretty important place in the compilation, as I said previously. It's destroyed and before Crisis. Uh, Rufus lives there before the events of Advent Children. And it's the opening event of Dirge of Cerberus. And it's going to be the very first place you visit in Part 2. So, it makes sense that they will take extra time to really make it special. What do you think? Once again, this is just me opening up the door to a conversation with you. How would you want to see Calm expanded both visually and story-wise in the next part of Remake? Thank you for watching.